Okay, this is my hexadecimal relay calculator. Uh, you can see that the control panel right up here is set up uh, m much more closer to a traditional type calculator where we have an actual display that's displaying a, a decimal digit and then we have buttons set up like a traditional calculator. Um, now what makes it hexadecimal is that this is now base 16 instead of base 10. So with base 10 as we count up through the numbers, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to say 9, when we go to the number 10 we put a 1 on here and a 0 here to represent 10. Now hexadecimal is base 16, so we can do we can count up to the number 15 on just one digit. Uh, but how do we show that we're on number 10? Well, when we get to number 10, it's represented using uh, letters. So A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. Now the good thing about hexadecimal is that it's exactly four bits. From zero to fifteen can be represented by just four bits. Zero 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 is zero. Uh, one 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 is fifteen, and then you know any combination of those bits in the middle can be represented with our little display here. If we want to do say some some simple addition, we can say two, and then we hit our little red button here, so we have black, red, and green. This is uh, like a terminals of a battery, so minus for subtraction, uh, red for uh, addition or positive, and then um, green is equals. So we hit plus for addition here. We switch a little relay kicks off here to let us write to our second register. And then we do, say, our second number, and then we hit equals, so 2 plus 3 equals 5. Now we need to clear it out after each operation, otherwise you can get some kind of confusing errors going on. Um, and that's because over here we have our two registers that store the two numbers that we're doing uh, the math on, and we need to clear those out for each one. And I don't really have a good way of doing that other than just zero plus zero equals zero. Now that makes sure that everything is set to zero in here, and then we can do our next operation. Now if we want to do, say, a subtraction, let's do, uh, a, which is 10, minus, let's say, 4. Um, so 10 minus 4 should equal 6, correct? So you can see that we're, we get a little minus here showing that we're doing subtraction, and then we hit equals there, and it says that this was a subtraction, and we got 6. Now this doesn't mean that it's negative 6. As a matter of fact, this calculator is incapable of doing uh, subtraction to get a, give us a negative number. Um, so, so this is just letting us know that we did a subtraction operation. Now again, we need to clear it out to zero. After you do a subtraction operation, it's actually a little more difficult to clear it out. You need to do the zero plus zero equals zero operation twice. So zero plus zero equal, and then we still have something going on there. And then now we're completely cleared out. All right, so now if we do an addition operation and the addition adds up to something that's greater than 15, so let's say uh, nine plus eight, um, and that's going to come out to 17. So if we do 9, 9 plus 8, you can see here, even though we're still displaying our second digit, we already have a 1 showing up here. Um, and this is actually a, a slight error in my total design. So we'll hit Enter here, and we get 1, 1. All right, so this looks like 11, but you got to remember it's, it's actually... Uh, base 16. So this one actually represents 16, and so we have 16 here plus 1 here because, you know, one digit can count all the way up to 15, the next digit can count 16 all the way up to 31, and then so on down the way. Um, now this showed up a little early because uh, actually before you hit the equals button, it's doing math on whatever number you push here. So it does the math a little early, and then whenever you hit this, all it's doing is taking the math that's done and storing it in our little display register over here. Uh, but the carry bit isn't stored in a register. It's displayed directly from our math unit. So it shows up a little early, actually, um, which is a little confusing, and it was an oversight on my part when I was designing it. But uh, for the most part, um, it works pretty well, if, as long as you just ignore this until you press and hold the green button to get the answer. And then, again, we'll clear everything out, so now that everything is 0 plus 0. So in that way, it can do uh, addition and subtraction on any 4-bit number, uh, from you know which is represented from 0 to 15. Um, and then it's shown in a way that's a little more readable by humans, although this is uh, not quite exactly what we're all accustomed to. With, uh, with normal calculators. So each of these boards was actually 
uh, machined and cut on our CNC mill outside, which you can see here. Uh, and they're all designed specifically so that they can be removed, so I can do diagnostics on each one. So you can see, for example, I can just slide this board out, and then you can see it has pins along here, and the back plane has little headers on it that it can go into it as well. Now the layout of this is set up, it, it seems really crazy that it's got all these boards, but each one of these boards has a specific purpose. Um, these two boards are the display register. So this display is made up of seven segments. Um, so you can see right now that uh, six segments are displayed. Um, so if, you know, if we hit the number eight, we can display seven segments. So seven segments can display uh, any number. It's kind of what all digital clocks are. But each one of those segments is being treated as like an individual LED. So those seven, seven segments are stored here. You can actually see this one has three capacitors, this one has four capacitors, so that's seven total. Um, this board here is a um, conversion that converts whatever whatever button I push here, it converts that into the binary equivalent. Um, so if I push 2, that changes it into 0010, and it just does that through a collection of diodes. Uh, the next five boards uh, is to go in the other direction. It's to take whatever binary we have, if we have uh, you know, 0110, it's to take that binary and convert it into seven segments to be shown here. Um, that, that just shows how difficult it is to go from binary to something that's readable by a human. This last board uh, on the left side here is our kind of total program control. Um, so every time I hit a button, you can hear that it goes click, 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 and does a couple of things. Um, so what it's doing is that whenever I hit a button, it enables the register so that I can write to it, and then it writes to the register, and then it, you know, closes off the register. Um, and then whenever I hit enter, does the math on the two registers, enables that output to be sent through our decoder here, and then it stores that answer into here. Uh, now, my original design had uh, intended to use some static RAM, which is what these two boards were, uh, but that didn't work out so well because my uh, total program control board was designed incorrectly. And then in order to redesign the program control board to fit in the same slot, I had to eliminate that uh, SRAM. So the two boards are here as SRAM, but they're not actually doing anything. We can actually just remove those boards. Uh, they're totally unnecessary at the moment. Um, these two boards here are our two registers for doing math on. This is, uh, you know, I, I call them the M register and the N register. Um, but essentially, one of these boards holds four bits of data. So we put the first number into the M register, and then the second number into the N register, and then uh, the math is done on, on whatever is stored in these two. This board right here is our exclusive OR board. This allows us to do subtraction. This takes uh, whatever is in the in register and we'll invert it so that way we can do uh, addition on an inverted number gives us the, the subtraction equivalent um, so that's what this this board's for and then these last four boards are the arithmetic unit um, so each one of these does math on uh, two bits so we take a the you know bit one from m and bit one from n register and we do the math on those and then we take bit two from m and n and we do the math on those and then bit three and math and then bit four and then the math and then all of that is circles all the way back around here to be displayed out here um, so that's uh, a very very complicated way to do math with a whole lot of relays uh, and it's still probably one of the dumbest calculators on the planet